now let's have a look at the associative law. The associative law is kind of neat because it actually helps you to make, to do calculations a little easier. In the associative law, you could have a question such as, let me see, I'll just pick out something back here. Um, let's use 2 plus 13 plus 7. And when you use the associative law for addition, you can see that that is equal to that. So in other words, you're grouping the numbers together. And in this case, 2 plus 13 is equal to 15 plus 7, and 15 plus 7 gives you 22. Now in the second case, you've got 2 plus, and you have to do brackets first, 13 plus 7 is 20, and actually this is a little easier calculation than 15 plus 7, so you can see the associative law does make it easier, 20 plus 2 is 22, you get the same answer. Associative law also works for multiplication, and in multiplication, I'll give you an example, 43 times 2 times 5, and if you are to put brackets in different places, you will still get the same answer. Again, for ease of calculation. 43 times 2 is 86, and you can multiply that still by 5. And if you calculate that again, that will give you 430. In this case, you've got 43 times, and you have to do the 2 times 5 first, which is 10, and that will give you 43 times 10 is much easier to calculate than 86 times 5. You get the same answer. So, the associative law makes calculations a lot easier. Now, let's have a look at something that even primary school kids do. And this is regrouping, where you group numbers together to form multiples of 10. An example. Uh, let's take 19 plus 26, um, no, <laughs> let's take 16 plus 7 plus 2 plus 19 plus 8 plus 33 plus 1 plus 14. In this case, what you can do is take the 16 and first of all use the commutative law you can move the numbers around for ease of calculation, so 16 plus 14 can be moved around so that they come together. Then you can take the 7 with a 33 to make a multiple of 10, and the 2 with the 8, and then the 19 with the 1, okay? Using the associative law, you now have groups that are easier to manage, and that will give you what, 30 plus 40 plus 10 plus 20, 30 and 40 is 70, 80, 100. That's a combination of the two laws. Now let's look at the relocation property. What you used before was just additions. In relocation property, now you have subtractions. And remember, the sign moves with the number that follows it. This is what's so powerful about the relocation property. In this case, you can, you can solve this fairly quickly. Start with 19, and you move the minus with the 9. Remember, they're stuck together. So, minus 9, and then you can do the 26 next if you want, and that will join up with the 4 to make a multiple of 10, which is 30, and you can see that 43 minus 3 works nicely too. If you need to use the, the associative law, you can group those to make it easier for calculations, and this would be 10 plus 30 plus 40, and that equals 80. Let's come over now to the multiplication and division. So multiplication and division, again, remember that this, because it's just multiplication and division, the sign in front of this would, would be multiplied by 33. We don't necessarily need it in this particular question, but in some questions you will need that. In this question, you can start with 33 divided by 11 gives you 3. And notice we're moving that division sign with the 11. It does not stay as a multiplication, but just because the multiplication sign is there. This moves with the 11. Now you've got um, well, we've got to divide it by 13, and 13 will divide into 13, so we can multiply by 13, divide it by 13 next. You have 3 times 1, which is still 3. And you're left with divided by 2 and a times 10, 
and I'll, I'll keep that one in there for now, but we'll put it at the end. So you've got times 10 divided by 2 would work nicely. That's 5, so 5 times 3 would give you 15. And if you want, you can put the times 1 at the end, but uh, you don't really need it, and that gives you 15. Notice how you can move all the numbers around as long as you stick that operation sign with the number, all right? Let's look at a lar another one after that, just so you get the idea. 5 divided by 11 times 22 is a nice one. 5 divided by 11 is kind of tough to do if you move from left to right, but if you use a relocation property, you can do 22 divided by 11 times 5, and that is the same as 2 times 5, which is 10. One more just for good luck. Let's take 80 divided by 13 times 91. Again, calculating from left to right doesn't work too well, so you can do 91 first, divide that by 13 and multiply that by 80. And 91 divided by, whoops, 91 divided by 13 is just 7 times 80 is 560.